Lisa, as you said yourself the other day, you've been here for three months now, and uh, you know you haven't had much opportunity to mix with people. As for, as for starters, or for starters, tell us about your past, where you come from, what you've done. You've got a very impressive CV. Okay, thank you, John. Uh, I'm sure you know that I come from Joburg. Okay. Uh, I worked for Johannesburg Tourism Company before coming to Ugu. Municipal, municipal? Yes. yes okay. well, Johannesburg Tourism Company is exactly the same as Ugu South Coast Tourism. Uh, it's, it's an entity owned by the municipality of Johannesburg. Okay. But before Johannesburg, I lived in the, uh, either in the United States, uh, worked for the Office of Tourism and Promotions in Washington, D.C. And this also, just like Ugu South Coast Tourism, was an entity of the municipality there. Uh, from there, I relocated, I went to New York, uh, stayed there, worked for Trump International Hotel and Tower in Manhattan. Uh, that was Donald Trump's uh, hotel that did he was on. Yes, I, I did. <laughs> yes, I, I, I did uh, several times. He's a very warm person. I, I worked there. Fortunately, our, the hotel was new. It was just opening that January. And I was fortunate enough to be part of that team. And then um, from Trump International Hotel and Tower, we then relocated to South Africa. And that's when I worked for the All, Af All Africa Games. It was just a, a short uh, term contract. Mm -hmm. And then worked for the Industrial Development Corporation for the tourism unit mm -hmm. at, the, at the IDC. From the IDC, then I joined the city of jo Johannesburg, the Johannesburg Tourism Company. How long were you there for? From 2006 uh, till I, I moved to the South Coast. Okay. But, but then the entity was then integrated into the bigger municipality. So uh, it, before it was Johannesburg Tourism Company, then they integrated it into the Department of Economic Development. Okay, now you're here. Yes. And what do you intend doing? What do you intend to do in future to make this number one forever? Okay, first let's start from my experience. If you are listening uh, uh, to my experience, mm -hmm. I've been doing urban tourism development. Okay. So now I've changed it's a new challenge for me. I'm doing uh, the coastal and rural tourism development. And of course, there will be challenges along the way. But already, tourism is tourism. Bottom line is that we need to contribute to economic development and create jobs in the destination. And in order to do that, we need to attract tourists to come here to the south coast. Now, in coming here, first things first, we need to look at what we have on the ground and develop the destination. Develop the, 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 the service providers, those who, who need that kind of development, develop routes into the areas, because people know the coastal line most of the times. They, they forget that there are people outside of the coast. So we need to make sure that it, to integrate the, the hinterland and make it visible to the tourists, we need to create routes going to the hinterland. So that's, that is now creating or addressing the supply side in terms of tourism growth. And then from there we look at the demand, creating the demand. That's when we are looking at ensuring that people come here and put this destination on the map. Do activities that will put, um, that will make tourists to want to come here. For example, as I understand it, people are just enjoying the, the coastal. 
and they forget that actually you can do business in the South Coast. We have uh, Port Shepstein as the economic hub of the South Coast. So we need to capitalize on that so that we can also attract tourism investments. We also have venues, yes, they are not uh, big, where we can have uh, conferences and events. And we also need to capitalize on the beaches. We have uh, blue flag beaches and attract events uh, that can use the beaches as uh, a resource. So those are the things that I'm looking at. Looking at both uh, creating the demand and addressing the supply side. Making sure that while we are talking out there to say that people uh, must come to the South Coast, the services on the ground are on par with other destinations. Yeah, but it must be a very difficult thing for you because uh, the problem must be similar to what Ubu, the district, district municipality has. You can't neglect the one uh, at the expense of the other. So the coastal line must be maintained and mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that tourist destination must be promoted and uh, nurtured. But then on the other hand, you need to spend money and put effort into the developing of the rural areas. So it's, it's a, it must be a fine balance to, uh, you know, to, to, to know where to do what, it, one it, when to do it. It has to be a, fi a fine balance uh, because when, when we are saying people must come here, they contribute to the revenue of the municipality. They are creating jobs. The businesses that are out there are paying rates, therefore contribut contributing to the municipality as well. So the fine balance should be while the, 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 the municipalities are receiving, then also the business people on the ground should be benefiting from the municipality as well in terms of services. Maybe it's a difficult thing, but uh, the, the question invariably arises, should private, the private sector not become more involved in developing the rural side, the rural, the, 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 you know, the rural areas? A big companies or something like that. I mean, is that at all possible to get them to come on board? It's, 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 Tourism wise now. It's, it's not impossible. If we are talking about attracting invest, investments, yes. we, those are the people that we need to be talking about, talking to, yeah. um, to bring uh, investments to those rural areas, and and also to ensure that you, you know when when we talk about. Uh, tourism's contribution to the economy. One credible way of measuring that is through accommodation. So looking at how much, how many beds are occupied at a particular time, yeah. then we are able to see that, okay, during this period, December period, this many establishments were operating, this many beds, were occupied, therefore, and this many people came, and therefore businesses generated this much, and jobs were created. So um, private sector is very important f to the municipality to make sure that uh, we work with them. And, and, and also, you know, there's this saying in the industry that uh, tourism is a private sector driven and uh, government-led. We need to assist the private sector so that they can uh, create those jobs that we want. What is, what is your view of the uh, situation that occurred over the past two or three years that during December we had the unfortunate situation of a water supply breakdown, which caused a lot of uh, dissatisfaction and uh, it actually um, gave the area a bit of a bad name. Uh, at the moment, it seems as if we've recovered. But now, what, what, is your, what is your view on that? How are you going to counter something like that if it should happen in future? Well, should that happen in future? Uh, well, first of all, unfortunately, 
it's something that is out of our control as Ugu South Coast Tourism. But the best we can do is to support uh, the private sector, accommodation facilities and restaurants and whoever, by making sure that when they are asking for information, we have the resources in terms of uh, staff available to answer questions. We have already put together a team that is a task team that is going to be working on that to operating from our office and also operating uh, on WhatsApp so that whenever there's a question, they are there on hand to assist and be the, the, the in-between, between the, the facilities and the municipality. So we already have uh, some plan uh, around that. Teresa, okay. uh, to round off, um, people will obviously be watching this in other areas of the country. They're watching you now as the new person in charge. They're considering coming down here. I've asked other people as well. What is your message to them? Why should they come to us down here for one holiday? The South Coast is the best destination. Safe, um, good value for money, and the, we have a lot of activities during the December holidays. And they can, must just come and, and, and enjoy our cool and calm destination and take advantage of our beaches that are safe compared to other areas of the country. This is the place to be. And of course you mentioned it, that it's, it's still value for money. Yes, it's still, it's value for money. You know, with everything, I, I was looking at, uh, during, during um, the September break, school holidays, the South Coast was packed despite the, the increased uh, petrol prices. So we still are that destination. We are that destination that people, you know, go to and enjoy with their families. Good uh, value for money destination. Thank you very much. I mean, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. In the years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.